problem number 41, several part problem here. First thing is that we have to find the directional derivative of this function at this point in the direction of this vector here for part A. So to do this, we know we need the gradient. So let's go ahead and compute the gradient here. Uh, derivative of this with respect to x is going to be what? Uh, negative y sine of xy uh, plus y e to the xy uh, plus, let's see, z over z times x. That's the x partial derivative. Uh, the uh, y partial derivative is negative x sine of xy plus x e to the xy. And the z partial derivative is just going to be x over z times x. Uh, we need this evaluated at this point here. So if x is 1 and y is 0 and z is 1 half, that is 0, that is 0, and we end up with 1 half over 1 half. Yeah, those you know, that, those e's, those x's are canceling out there, so that's just one. Y component here is negative one uh, times sine of, one times sine of zero is going to be zero plus one e to the zero, that's one. And then the uh, third component here is one over z that looks like to you. So it looks like our gradient at this point is the vector 1, 1, 2. Uh, now we need direction vector. So we're being asked for A is i hat plus j hat minus 2k hat here. The magnitude of A is going to be 2. Check that for yourself. And so our direction vector u, divide everything here by 2. So that would be one half i hat plus one half j hat minus uh, root two over two k hat. So the directional derivative and the direction of u of f at p naught is the dot product of these two vectors. So one times one half is one half plus one times one half is one half plus two times negative root two over two minus root two, so that's one minus root two. Uh, part B says, in what direction does F decrease most rapidly? Uh, so the thing to realize here is that the gradient, the gradient at P naught, so gives you the direction at which your, your function increases most rapidly. So increase most rapidly is the vector one, one, two. Decrease most rapidly is the negative of this. Negative one, negative one, negative two. Uh, I, I didn't ask you to turn this into a unit vector. Maybe I should have. Um, the magnitude of this would be square root six, so you know, perhaps a more precise answer if we just care, if we want to make it a unit vector is this. And then C, find equations for the tangent plane and normal line to the surface f of x, y, z is t minus log two at that point. Okay, so our point is one, zero, one half. Our normal vector that we'll need for the equation of the plane can just be given by the gradient is one, one, two. So equation of the plane is just going to be one times x minus one plus one times y minus zero plus two times uh, two times z minus one half is equal to zero. Uh, so, so this gives you uh, this gives you equation of the tangent plane for the normal line. We have this point in this direction vector, so L of t is going to be uh, one, zero, one half plus t times the direction vector, the normal vector. 
So that is problem number 41.